Good evening and welcome to Auburndale High School's 2020 Title I Annual Parent Meeting. My name is Lindsey Graham and I'm one of the assistant principals as well as the Title I contact for our school. I would like to thank everyone for participating in this important meeting regarding Title I and its impact on student achievement at Auburndale High School. At the conclusion of this presentation, please make sure that you fill out the annual parent meeting evaluation. The link will be included on social media, as well as in the email message that this presentation was sent in. All right, let's go ahead and learn a little bit more information about Title I. Title I is the largest federal assistance program for our nation's schools. The purpose of Title I is to provide supplemental resources and services to high poverty schools, to migratory children and families, and to institutions serving neglected and delinquent children and youth. You may be wondering how Title I works. The federal government provides funds to states each year for Title I based on the U.S. Census poverty data. State education agencies then take that money and send it to school districts based on the number of families that receive free and reduced lunch or are CEP direct certified. Then the local school districts or LEAs identify eligible schools and distribute those funds accordingly. So how does Title I help? Title I helps children become more successful in school. It also gives parents a voice in their child's education and gives them the tools and resources necessary to help their child academically and establish a learning environment in the home. Additionally, Title I helps teachers realize the contributions of parents to their children's education and allows them to work to raise the student achievement for their child. For the 2020-2021 school year, Auburndale High School was allocated $276,590 in Title I funds. Approximately 97% of that total allocation for Auburndale High School is spent on personnel. There are four Title I paid positions, and those are a literacy coach, a math coach, a behavioral interventionist, and a student success coach. Due to COVID-19, the remaining balance of our Title I budget has yet to be determined until we receive additional guidance from the district. Despite our current Title I budget not being finalized, I wanted to show how Auburndale High School used the 2019-2020 Title I funds. Last year, a total allocation was $334,102, and of those funds, $5,312 had to be spent on parent involvement. One of the items that we purchased with our parent involvement funds would be the SAT and ACT test prep books for our students. As you can see, 78% of our budget was spent on personnel, the same four positions that we have this year, and the remainder of that was spent on items such as professional development and training, substitutes, field trips, and additional supplies. For curriculum, all Florida public schools implemented the Florida Standards for Language Arts and Math for grades K through 12. In addition to the Florida Standards, schools utilize the Next Generation Sunshine State Standards for Science and Social Studies. Some of the assessments that your students may take this school year would be the 9th and 10th grade Language Arts Reading and Writing Florida Standards Assessment, or FSA. We also give the end of course assessments or EOCs for Algebra 1, Geometry, U.S. History, and Biology. Our 10th graders take the PSAT, which is a math and evidence-based reading and writing assessment. We also administer the ACT, which is the National College Ad Admissions Exam in Math, Reading, English, and Science. And finally, there are district-based progress monitoring that is ongoing throughout the year. One of the components of Title I is that districts and eligible schools must create a parent and family engagement plan. This is just a snapshot of key points that Polk County schools have included in their district plan. 
Polk County Schools plans to involve families in developing their district plan. They will provide the support to assist and build the capacity of all schools within the district in planning and implementing effective parent and family involvement activities to improve student academic achievement and school performance. They will coordinate and integrate parent and family engagement strategies with other federal, state, and local programs. Every year, they will conduct an annual evaluation of the content and effectiveness of the parent and family engagement policy in improving the academic quality of all schools, including identifying barriers to greater participation by parents in activities, specifically those of families who are economically disadvantaged, are disabled, have limited English profici proficiency or have limited literacy or are of any racial or ethnic minority background. They will also identify the needs of parents and family members to assist with the learning of their children, including engaging with school personnel and teachers, as well as identifying strategies to support successful school and family interactions. Additionally, Polk County Schools plans to design evidence-based strategies for more effective parent involvement and to revise, if necessary, the parent and family engagement policies. And finally, Polk County Schools plans to involve parents in the activities of the schools, which may include establishing a parent advisory board agency for the purpose of developing, revising, and reviewing the parent and family engagement policy. At the school-based level, our parent and family engagement plan outlines that we will involve an adequate representation of parents or establish a parent advisory board to represent families in developing and evaluating the school, parent, and family engagement policy that describes how the school will carry out its required family engagement activities. We will also hold an annual meeting for families to explain the Title I program and the rights of parents to be involved. We will offer other parent workshops at flexible times. We will utilize Title I funds to support parent and family engagement and involve parents in deciding how these funds are used. We will involve parents in the planning, review, and improvement of the Title I program. We will also develop a school parent compact that outlines how parents, students, and school staff will share the responsibility for improving student achievement and also describe how parents and teachers will communicate. We will provide materials and training to help parents support their child's learning at home, as well as educate teachers and other school staff, including school leaders, on how to engage families effectively. We will coordinate with other federal and state programs, including preschool programs, and we will always provide information in a format and language parents can understand and offer information in other languages as feasible. As mentioned on the previous slide, one of the components of the parent and family engagement plan is to develop a school parent compact that outlines how parents, students, and school staff will share the responsibilities for improving student achievement, as well as describe how parents and teachers will communicate effectively. This document is on the screen right now. It's also going to be emailed to all parents and students, as well as being posted on social media and our school website. You are more than welcome to come up to the school and request a copy for your own personal use. At Auburndale High School, we appreciate and value our parents and families. And for Title I, we need our parents and families help to determine the goals for our program, as well as plan and carry out those goals. We need assistance in evaluating our programs as well as volunteering at school. We would love for our parents and families to participate in curriculum nights, academic workshops, et cetera, in order to have more information and tools to help their child at home. And we also value the input that is provided and the assistance with the writing and revision of the following documents, the district parent and family engagement plan, the school parent and family engagement plan, the school parent compact, the online parent survey, and the district parent advisory team. Some of the planned parent and family engagement activities that we are going to offer will be the FAFSA workshop, which is going to be offered this month in October. The goal of the workshop is to provide parents and students information and assistance on applying for financial aid. 
We will also restart our student success series where we provide information to parents on standards, curriculum, graduation requirements, and testing. Um, there will be more information uh, provided to us through college and career on graduation as well as scholarships. Those dates right now are to be determined. We will also offer our mission transition night, which is where we provide information to parents to help future students prepare for the transition to high school, as well as see what courses we offer, including electives and graduation requirements. The date for the mission transition night is going to be in February of 2021. As of right now, due to COVID-19, we are going to be holding all of our parent and family activities virtually either through recorded sessions or online uh, virtual platforms, please check out our website as well as our, show, our social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We will provide plenty of updates uh, and get you that information that you need to know so that you're able to participate. And as always, you're more than welcome to call up to the school and ask for that information as well.
All of the information that I have discussed tonight can be found on our school website as well as in the school's front office in our parent engagement notebook or pen notebook. The following things are available for you to view. The district and school parent and family engagement plan, the district and school parent and family engagement plan summaries, the school improvement plan, school parent compacts, right to know letters, four week notification letters, code of conduct, and state district and school report cards. As always, we are proud to be Auburndale Bloodhounds, but we're also proud to be a Title I school. For additional information at the district level, please call the Title I program through federal programs at 863-457-4707. For more information about Title I at the school level, please email Lindsey Graham at lindsey.graham at polk-fl.net or call the school at 863-965-6200. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for participating in the 2020-2021 Title I Annual Meeting for Auburndale High School. Please take a moment to fill out the meeting evaluation via the Google Form link that was included in the email or listed on social media. Once you've completed that evaluation about tonight's meeting, your name will be entered into a drawing for one of five gift cards to local restaurants.